Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. We got two smoked turkey breasts. We're able to use some Traeger pellets along with the Traeger brawn. If you guys want to see this, here we go. We're talking about a Traeger smoked turkey breast. So Traeger sent this to me as the turkey blend pellet kit. Um, it's actually pellets and brine included in this one bag. The flavors of pellets are maple and hickory, and it's got a little bit of a rosemary in there as well. Pretty excited about that. So before we do anything, first things first, we're gonna open it up, get the brine out. Let's see how we use the brine. So this is my method, ology, okay? I swear by brines. I absolutely 100% unequivocally, unequivocally, that word, <laughs> swear by brines. Um, I wanna take it a step further. Today is a Wednesday. We're gonna make the brine today and refrigerate. So the brine cools down. So we don't have to add uh, uh, as much ice. Thursday, we're going to include the turkey breast and the brine together. We're gonna let it soak overnight until Friday. Friday, I'm gonna take it out of the brine and let it air dry overnight. And then Saturday, we're gonna smoke it. Seems like a lot, but very little work. It's just about timing. Smell these pellets. I'm smell, not kidding. Does it smell good? Smell like turkey? It smells like turkey. <laughs> I think it's the rosemary. Yeah, the That's rosemary, nuts. nice little hint. <laughs> All righty, we got the kit open. It's actually got a little orange flavor in there. That's pretty cool. And we're just gonna follow the package instructions. So four cups of water, water's up to a boil. We're just gonna add the brine, give it a good dissolve, let it boil for about five minutes. Overnight in the refrigerator it goes. Day two, our brine has cooled down completely. I've got it right here. So I'm trying something out. Bear with me because I don't know the answer yet. So you gotta let me try it out before I can say, hey, I found something cool. So we have like this little trash bag. I've just got a big container. Whether you use um, a cooler method, or refrigerator, however you wanna do it, it's up to you. We're just gonna dump this in here completely. Is that actually a brine bag? No. No. Nope. And then we're add a little, we're gonna add a little whiskey to it. It said bourbon. And I don't want to change the flavor too much. I thought about adding orange, more rosemary, more this, more that. And I'm like, you know what? Since this is my first time trying it, let's give it a chance. They're successful selling it. People like it, obviously. So let's give it a chance. Two turkey breasts here. And simply enough, we're just going to put them in the bag. Now, if you notice, I'm not adding any ice because this is going to go back from the refrigerator. So, oh yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. Overnight it goes, and then tomorrow we're gonna to start drying it out. Alrighty, it's day three. Oh, so I think the trick worked. This is just one of those oven safe bags that you can actually cook your turkey in. I know a lot of people during this time want to find like a uh, bags to help them like uh, brine stuff. And I know there's a couple options out there for. Um, expensive style like ziploc style bags and i saw these in the grocery store and i'm like you know what if they stop your stuff from getting all messy when you cook it might stop it from getting all messy when you brine it and it works so i think that's a win-win all right so now what we're gonna do is just let this sit just like you see it overnight in the refrigerator uh, i'm not going to season it or anything like that it's got plenty of salt in there let that skin dry out so tomorrow we can worry about that crispy skin. It's time to cook them. So now what we're gonna do is just got a little spray oil. You can see right here, I just wanna show you quickly how much moisture has escaped. Tons of moisture in the sheet tray, and that's what you want because you put them on the smoker immediately. They're just so soggy and wet. Um, they don't really have a chance to crisp up that skin and I love crispy poultry skin, whether it be turkey or uh, chicken. Got a little avocado spray here. And if you notice this skin, is very, very dried out and taut. Perfect, exactly what we're looking for. The oil's gonna help it to be a binder as well. I'm gonna leave all that on there because all that can smoke. Use that as a snack. We've got that rub that came in the uh, kit, so we're just gonna use that 100%. Make sure you get all those edges, work the sides. Once that seasoning is done, 
This is a personal preference. I'm gonna add just a little bit more black pepper because we like black pepper in the turkey. Smoker's up to temp. Now we're gonna use the, our meter block and insert it into the fattest part, probably about right there. All right, the lid's closed. We use that smoke mode on the Traeger. We're gonna look around 200 degrees, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Slowly bring those turkey breasts up. And then if you notice that we added those, uh, that uh, Traeger brand poultry blend, it's got that rosemary smell, the maple and the hickory, should be pretty good. So we'll check back in in about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes later, we've been rocking at 200 with that smoke mode. We're gonna now just go ahead and take that temperature all the way up to about three, 5375, so let's cut the difference just because I'm an ornery right there. Okay, while our grill is heating up, I don't want to overcook the turkey breast, they're roughly about 130 degrees right now. See that beautiful smoke on there? We're gonna take those off and let the grill heat up, and then once the grill's heated up. We'll put them back on. Traeger's heated up. Got it about that 360 degree mark. Down our turkey breasts go. We're gonna uh, cook these to about 160 degrees and watch over and watch for that carryover cooking. Alrighty, both of our turkey breasts are right at our target temp. Alrighty, so just uh, kind of like caution to the wind. What I didn't want to do is change the flavor of what they offered. Uh, we're going to taste it. Basically, we did the brine, we did the bourbon, and we did their seasoning. The only thing different I added was a little black pepper because me and my wife prefer a little black pepper on a turkey. Other than that, we're going to try it out and see what it's like. Ah! Meter was able to stay in there the whole time, and then we allowed the turkey breast to cool uh, to about 150 degrees looking good so let's see what we got here some people say why does it take you that long to brawn draw and everything for a turkey breast because once you do it the right way it is fantastic it looks like it is incredibly juicy let's see if we can see in the light Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's moist, faint. I like it because it's not overpowering with the idea of like the poultry seasoning, the rosemary and stuff like that. I actually like the seasoning. I don't know what season they use. I don't know if it's a brand they carry or a, a blend they carry all year long, but that turkey is just as juicy as can be. It's important no matter how you do your method. Internal temperature reigns supreme. Try to keep your temperatures on the lower side and build up. It's just less pressure that the turkey has to go through it keeps a lot more moisture in there and we swear by brining so love the brine kit you can taste that flavor running all the way through there this will be perfect for a mm, turkey sandwich, sandwich little mayonnaise <laughs> that's good golly that's good mm -hmm. good seasoning too mm -hmm. good all around i don't get a lot of citrus no mm -mm. i don't get a lot of bourbon either obviously we could add it more, i was gonna say i kind of get the hint of bourbon you do i do well there we go fantastic juicy turkey thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button pound the notification button share it with your friends we got more turkeys coming up lots more turkeys